Welcome to the installation video on the 2015 GMC. This is the one ton truck, also for the three quarter ton truck. We're going to show you how to install the grill guard for it. First, to install the grill guard, if you've got tow hooks, which most of that I've seen do, you're going to have to take the tow hook out first. It will go back. This bracket right here, you can see the angles. The, the, what we call the shoe mount is going to face to the outside. You don't want to get them flopped, switched. The frame, is, this is going to sit in the frame. To remove the tow hook, you're going to have one long bolt and one short bolt. The short bolt comes straight from the bottom of the frame. The long bolt is going to go through the frame. You're going to put this bracket on the side of the frame. I'll show you how to put that on here in a minute. The long bolt is actually going to end up being inside that hole right there the small bolt is going to come back through the bottom, which you can see that's how the tow hook would have come back out of the truck to itself. Okay? So now we are going to show you how to put the bottom one on. We took the tow hook out of the other side just to show you in visual uh, from me and underneath the truck on how to do it. So now we're going to show you how to get the mounting bracket um, in spot. We will have to remove the tow hook first and then we'll put it back on. Okay. He's going to remove the tow hook now. There's, it is 18 millimeters that you need for the um, ratchet and a wrench or impact is 18 millimeters. Okay, now we're going to remove the tow hook. Now that the tow hook is removed, we're going to grab that bracket that we mentioned about and you have to install it from the underneath to the front. You can see how we got it positioned. There's a steel plate so it makes it tight in there. Put that bracket in there. And then you got to rotate it. You'll see which way I rotated it? And then you pull it to the front and you slide it over and then it will slide to the outside of the frame. Once you've got that bracket in spot we're going to put the tow hook back in place just as it came out and put the bolts back just as it is. Back a little bit more. In, out. Okay, the long bolt's in. Now we're going to put the small one in from the bottom. Now he's going to take, put that nut on there. It does help, before you tighten it up, if you will take a level and put on that bracket. And that bracket, just hold that bracket level as they tighten it up. And then you can tighten those two bolts back up. same thing to the other side and then we will show you how to mount the top brackets. Now that we got the bottom brackets on, now you got a set of upper brackets you can put on. We've got the other side on there right now. You can see how the gear is going to go to the outside and it's going to mount to the grill guard upper gear on there too. In order to put that bracket on, right here there's a bolt. 18 millimeter wrench will get it out. We've got it loosened right now. You need to loosen that bolt. When you get through loosening that bolt, there's a washer under that head of that bolt. This bracket needs to slip under that washer. As you can see, it'll slide in there and then you can tighten it down on top of there. So I'm, I just slid it underneath, underneath the washer and then you can tighten the bolt down as of right here. It's gonna be a little bit short stroke, 
Just get an open end wrench and you can get it in there. And then you need to tighten that bolt down. At first you may just want to snug them down. That way once the grill guard's up there, if you need to move it side to side a little bit, you can. But really you can probably still move it even if you snug them a little bit heavy. But um, we're going to go ahead and snug all that down and then we're going to be ready to mount the grill guard. Okay, we've got the grill guard here now. Um, these two holes here are going to mount up to the, your bottom bracket. Your top bracket here is going to go to your top cap. We're going to get a guy on each side, that way um, nobody gets hurt, no truck gets scratched. We're going to leave the foam on the loops here. If you've got it on there yet, you can leave that on there so that one gets hurt or scratched. Um, and now we're going to get two guys on each, a guy on each side, two guys, and we're going to put it up there and mount it. Okay, we got a guy in here that's going to grab it on each side. Let's go ahead and put it up on the truck. And I'm going to get down here and I'm going to put a bolt in on the top on each side. You know, relieve the guy's pressure. So at first, just get one on the top real quick. Don't wait, nobody's straining. We didn't mention at the very beginning on the mounting brackets, but you'll see when you get it that, that is a 3 8 plate mounting bracket on that bottom. Gusseted it also, which there's no way that bracket is ever going to go anywhere. So. Once you do that, okay guys, y'all can relax. We've got bolts to hold everything on. Go to the other side and get all the bolts there in first. Get that on. Make sure you get your lock washers on there. Everything's provided with half by one and three quarter inch bolts. And now we got those four on. We're going to get over here. You can start out with this bottom shoe right at flush with your bottom um, bracket. Okay? And that'll get pretty close to height to height. You can. We're going to put a jack up underneath it to get it there. And then you can. Um, Get, take the foam off of this thing and then we're going to stand back and we're going to eyeball that. We're going to take all that off and then we'll show you how to align the grill guard. Okay, now that we've, we've tightened all the bolts up, what we did, you saw us put the bolts in there. When you get, when you want to line the grill guard up, you want to stand back right in the center of the truck and you want to line these top pieces of pipe up with the corners of the fender wells. It's always worked best for me. And that's how you get your grill guard right height-wise from, uh, from side to side, up and down. You also want to get it right from side to side. Take a tape measure and just hit the same spot on each side on the truck. That way you get an accurate measurement. Look down inside, however you want to line it up, just do it the same on each side. And that's how you get it lined up from side to side. Um, once you got, we did that, and now we've tightened all, both bolts down here on each side. Now what you got to do, once that's done, you need to bolt your top mounting bracket on. You need to put one half inch bolt in there. Make sure you get your lock flats and locks too. Okay. Once that's in there, you're gonna go to you're gonna do that on each side, and then we're gonna tighten them up. Once everything's tight, um, you're about ready on your grill card. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten them up right now. We've tightened the top bolts, um, so now your installation is complete. Um, before you let, uh, drive off though, just one last time, make sure all bolts on the whole entire thing are tight. Um, just one more time, give it a quick check, and I hope you enjoy your 2015 GMC.